you break? Finally came. Finally came. Finally hit you. How does it feel to finally be a woman? I'm happy. I've been a girl for a really long time. Yeah. You know this. You know this. You like my hair? How you doing? I really like hair. Okay. <laughs> what's up guys welcome to my channel you guys this is just a quick one because i'm about to you know watch their games that they will start but i said i should come make me grow my make we talk about some things when i hear from this house just before we watch the um wager tax game you understand first of all we just i just switched station and i i found um khalid and daniela having like a conversation the conversation was weird and then we heard khalid asking daniela so how does it feel to finally be a woman and i'm like huh like oh, please 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 you guys should explain to me what is the meaning of that statement because the the rate at which khalid and daniela they have been you know doing in the house and the rate at which they've just been you know serenading us with their you know love affair is something to be suspicious about because I don't understand. I beg, tell me that that conversation was about maybe her period or tell me that that conversation was about her transition from teenagehood to adulthood or from being a girl to being a woman. Or I don't, See, I don't understand. Or what was the conversation about? I, or is it what I am thinking when a man asks you, so how does it feel to be a woman? That's, you've been a girl since because she said she's been a girl since. And I'm like... I've been at for house now they come knock for um, Daniela knock for the first time. Abyss, my head play with me. Abyss, just me that like a proko. I don't understand. Like, please, you guys should leave it in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Just tell me what you think in the comment section. And the essence of this video is about Doni. <sighs> Doni, please. Please, can somebody just tell Doni to please rest? Rest, please, please. The hustle, the desperation, the haunting for a man is just so embarrassing already. Like, I really love her. I like her personality. I love how she's opinionated. I love how she, you know, she seems intelligent. But what will be the problem now? Must you be sheep? Must you sheep? Eh? Must you sheep? Every time you see her having a conversation, in fact, ever since Deji came into the house, her eyes has been on Deji. She's always having a conversation with Deji. And you could see the whole emotions in her eye. You could see that she's so much... You could see that she likes the guy, even with the way she looks at the guy. And trust me, the guy definitely knows that she likes him. He just the use her the catch cruise. Because you just see that his nonchalant attitude, his body language just feels like, oh, um, I know send you kind of a thingy, you understand? He deformed fine boy. After all, he said he's a fuck boy on stage, you understand? But what's up with Donye? I don't understand. Every conversation he's having with a man is, who do you like you? Before it was shakes that she actually liked. Now she is up on Deji's game. And yeah, she finally told Deji that she feels really angry whenever she sees Deji talking with another girl. I hate when I see you talk to so Why do you like it? I think you're very attractive, number one. I like that you're very calm. And I don't know about confident yet, because I don't know. I don't know, I don't know you well enough, but I like that you're very calm. I like that you take a piss, like you piss me off sometimes, and you're not all like super, super every time. I like that. For now, that's just like, I enjoy talking to you, that's all I know for now. I like this style also. Like when I look at you, I want to look at you again. Do you understand? And I'm like, what thing happened? Whenever she sees Deji talking to another girl because she likes Deji, she likes this about him, she likes that, 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 that that's what, as in the conversation was just going back and forth, she ended up telling Deji was like, she be you have somebody, Deji was telling her, you have somebody in the other house, Saif, so what are you going to tell him? And she was like, she, she likes him, she likes Saif, and if she ends up choosing any of the two of them, she's going to go, if she chooses him, she's going to go and tell Saif that, oh, I think I, I, I feel Deji more, I think I like Deji more, so let's just be this because Deji was telling her that he actually don't want to get himself involved in any triangle of sorts in the house and she was like there's no triangle that's going to happen this thing i'm telling you is if if i finally decide you don't decide for your mind leave him you like the guy not just the cap anyhow you like the guy she said if she finally decides she's going to go and tell Saif that there will be no triangle like trying to encourage the guy trying to talk to him trying to make him understand that and uh, you don't i don't understand in fact, she has got, she has literally just 
because you see uh, if if we the viewers can be feeling this way i'm sure the guy knows that that guy looks like a playboy for goodness sake he said it on stage you understand he looks like it you get and i feel like she will be safer with Saif rather than Deji. But at the end of the day now, she she's all lovey dovey, she's all dying, all like she did Peme, she did die for the guy. She did die for the guy, and the guy knows it. The guy is enjoying the chase. The guy is enjoying the fact that he's just getting her all um, into him. You understand? Because that guy is an intelligent guy. If you watch him, Deji goes about talking to most of the housemates, getting into their head. You understand? You see him having private conversation with these people like personal conversation who things like that and he is one of these guys that keeps saying that level one housemates they are not up to standard uh, he's, he looks down on the level one housemates so to say you understand because he was now telling um, Donnie uh, that the person that he feels makes sense in the house among the guys is groovy. And Donnie was like, what about Saif? He was like, mm, he's there. So Donnie was like, he likes the fact that Saif is a go-getter, you understand? That she likes, she likes the fact that Saif is a go-getter. Saif is a straightforward person, blah, 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 and all that. But the guy, they just they try, they won't talk down on the Saif guy. So that I don't understand. And this Donnie lady or this Donnie girl is head over heel in love with this like she's stripping she's stripping she's drawing she's she's literally like i don't understand come on doing we all love you more than this thing you're doing you just she's beginning to look so desperate really really in my opinion she's beginning to look really desperate for a relationship she's beginning to look as if she's the one chasing deji at the moment even though i feel like saif really like her but if you if you leave me to want to choose a man for her based on what we are watching i'll be honest with you i'll think saif would be a better person for her because did you look like playboy now which girl we want to date playboy when they they stress your head up and down anyway guys that's just it Shall what do you guys think about this doing and her desperation for a guy in the house because this is just replaying some kind of somebody in my head in the last two seasons or something like that just let me know in the comment section let me just watch the the wager tax game and i'll talk to you guys later